Alperen Shirun is playing phenomenal. Honestly, I'm very much enjoying how Shirun has been playing the Turkish man. The man from last year who's taking a jump. Everything about him is better. Okay. He's averaging over a block a game. A guy that's saying that he would never be a guy who'd average a block game in the pre-draft. He's over here being a great complimentary player to the Jalen Green, Alper and Shigun, Jabari Smith, and Cap, you know, Kevin Porter Jr. That's a four guys right there that is a decent core because Alper and Shigun makes up for the lack of playmaking that Green and Kevin Porter don't have. And then Jabari Smith and Shigun are like two bigs, and it's it's fantastic and it works really, really well. And for me, I think this is just something that you look at with Alper and Shigun. He's a guy who went from being you know, a rookie that we were all just left starstruck by. And I know his stats were just 9.6 points, 47.4% from the field, which you think in your mind, not bad, but for a big man, you want him to shoot at least 50%. And this year he's at 54.5. So averaging 15 points, nine rebounds, dishing out, you know, same amount of assists last year, almost three, and about a steal game and a little over a block game. And I know if you go into the defensive rating, this is that, but you, the guy's trying on defense and it's making an effort and it's, it's fun to watch. And he's a core piece of this team for a guy who got drafted 16th overall. And we knew last year in his draft class, the whole thing was when we were doing the pre-draft analysis was that Usman Garuba was the best defensive, you know, big in the draft, which, you know, we, we were probably wrong about that. And we, just the jury's out on that, but Shagoon was the best offensive big in that draft on every aspect. Scoring, passing, rebounding. He was better. And I think it's just when you're seeing Shagoon out there, it's been it's been fun. And I think when you see Alper and Shagoon direct Kevin Porter Jr. or Jalen Green to run a side pick and roll and flip the action toward him, it's it's stuff like that that I think gets overlooked. Like the decision to bring Shagoon off the bench in the beginning of the season was something that helped the team develop the chemistry. And Fernando, you know, Garuba not playing well. Fernando has been the better interior defender, but the Rockets have lacked a physical rim running protecting big for a while. And that they, you know, Fernando isn't perfect. And Shagoon, he looks like he a year into the NBA conditioning has been great i think in the starting lineup he's averaging like 17 almost 18 points a night nine, almost 10 rebounds a night three assists a block a game he's like a double double machine out there and his comp was like he's he's gonna be like a kevin love s guy was i remembered like and he's some and i know the overall defense is still below average but shagoon is a very good player that they can't ever think about moving because that would be just basically suicide for the franchise. And for me, I think it's just been enjoyable to see the success of the team of how they're playing with the young guys. I know it's not leading to wins yet, but it's building a good base in my opinion. And I think it's definitely going to go. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. When you look at something like Shigun. What are you hoping that he can face? I know defensively he's limited. Like we we know that. That's something we knew going in just because of his his length and stuff. He's never gonna be an elite defender. Like he can, you know, become a willing defender like Denny Optia has has been and you know be annoying, which is possible. But he's not gonna be out there like Mo Bamba just coming out of nowhere being a pterodactyl. I want to hear your thoughts. Is there anything that like I might have missed? And I think it's definitely something really interesting to look out for, for this team. Because Shigun is going to be very, very good. He's going to be a top 10 center sooner rather than later. And maybe he's cut from the same cloth as Nikolai Jokic. And I think it's definitely... Definitely gonna be something fun to watch. I mean, maybe I could also be completely wrong, but this is again where you guys put in your beautiful input, and I'm just waiting to hear what do you guys think of all of this. Well, 
who would you also let's wrap up this video who would you guys get rid of is it is everyone going to say kevin porter jr if you had to get rid of one player on this team and it's not so your team can benefit it's just because it's not working who would you do is it kevin porter jr i yeah i think it's maybe some of the guys on the bench i don't know man there, there's a lot of guys on this team that you, you don't realize it but yeah there's a lot of them and that's again let me hear your thoughts i'm just milking this i drove from maryland back here so i've slept like 90 minutes in the last day and so yeah, it was non-stop 16 hours from 2 in the morning till 5 p.m it is 9 p.m now and i'm making this so i hope you guys do enjoy if you guys didn't you suck i'm just kidding you don't ever suck you guys never suck but i will say let me know seriously i'm gonna head out i milked this way too long